Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got an idea for a sweet little bug in my dot SketchUp. So let's get cracking. All right, friends, so the first thing you gotta know is you gotta visit my.sketchup.com, which is free. I choose sign in with Google, and then you always click and release the mouse. You don't hold the mouse button down, which is different than a lot of programs. I'm assuming you've done a few of my other videos before this. If not, check above. There will be links to some beginner ones. If you have already done a few, well then, here's how we do this. From the home, click Create New, and you must choose Millimeters. When you click it, be patient. It takes a second. It doesn't feel like anything's happening. And then boom, you'll finally be in here. This lady is just showing us the size of the world. We can delete her because we don't need her. And then we are going to make a bug. I need you to click on save, click on the SketchUp folder. And then I need to have you put bug with your initials because that way when you go to save it so that we can print it, it's got everything already labeled and then you can hit save. Friends, I'm gonna tell you the shortcuts as we do this. If you use your left hand for the shortcuts and your right hand for the mouse, it makes life a lot easier. C is for circle, stretch that out, and I want you to type 30 and press enter. So that circle's pretty tiny, so let's click on zoom extents to zoom in on it. When you can see it, we're gonna switch to O for orbit and look at it from the top. These edges are not real nice on this line, so let's make it more smooth by clicking the Select tool, which is also Spacebar, and making that outside edge blue. When you've got this blue, double check that you got it selected, hit Entity Info, and instead of 24 segments, make it 60. Now your circle is smooth. Once again, if you don't have that menu, it's because you didn't click the line. Let's hide this and then let's press L for line and connect the middle. This is gonna be the bottom of our bug, so now we can press E for eraser and erase that bottom edge. This will be the body of our bug. Press F for offset. Click and let go of the mouse, type the number four and press enter. This will be the part of the body that we can squeeze. Switch to the tape measure command by pressing the letter T Stretch out on the red axis, but remember you're not holding the button. Type the number 20 and press enter. This gives us the point that's gonna help us make our head. When we click L for line, click on the center point, and then click on that end point. Hit your space bar, and we can click on this piece and delete it. We're gonna use this part as our head, and we've got a real cool way to move it. First, do T for tape measure. Click on the front of your little bug, and we're gonna type 10 and press enter. This gives us a point to set the head. Now click your space bar, click your head once and then twice. So you've got the blue lines and then do M for move, click on the corner. Notice it stretches everything until you tap control which puts you in copy mode. Set that copy down. Once again, let's switch to T for tape measure. This time I want you to stretch back and we're gonna type eight millimeters. Type your eight and press enter. And then up here, I want you to type six and press enter. And then use L for line to connect those. And then hit E for erase to get rid of those pieces. So my friends, with that line in place, hit T for tape measure, move to the midpoint. And when you stretch this out, make sure it shows that pink perpendicular line. Type the number four and press enter. Then use L for line to connect those from the top to the bottom. Also connect this front so that now this piece has all these connections. Hit E for erase and let's clear those little parts out so that'll make it a one piece shape up here in the front. When you see that, then you can erase this and erase this and this is all in place now. Let's press T for tape measure, move up to this point right here Make sure we are on the green axis, and I want you to type five and press enter. Hit your space bar, double click your shape. Let's do M for move, and let's move the head to that little point. Hit E for erase and get rid of that guide point, and our bug is starting to take shape. Friends, it's time to add teeth to our bug. I want you to click out on the front here, do R for rectangle, and we are gonna make a four comma four rectangle and press enter. We are gonna do the teeth from the top first, so do L for line, 
and we're just going to go from this corner to the midpoint and from this corner to the midpoint. Choose E for erase and we're going to get rid of those pieces that were on the outside. Spacebar, double click, M for move. And we want to go from that corner to this corner but tap control so you're setting down a copy. Click on the corner again, tap control and drop it in place. Click on the corner, tap control and set it in place and click the corner tap control and set it in place just leave the little back piece that is not that big of a deal go back to your space bar double click the tooth hit Q which is the shortcut for rotate we're gonna go from the midpoint to the end point and when you click then you can rotate it 180 degrees so that it's pointing the other way let's tap space bar double click and let's hit M for move to put this next one in place. I am gonna go from the midpoint and I'm gonna attach it to that end point. Notice that lines up really sweet with my other tooth. I wanna connect this corner to the other corner. Remember when you tap control, it lets you move and move those across. It's not totally perfect, but it's gonna be slick anyways. Once again, click that edge, tap control to make a copy, Click that end point, tap control to make a copy, and set your teeth in place. Hit L for line, and let's connect this front piece, and then hit E for erase, and clean up all those little lines that we don't need anymore. This will make all of our faces completely solid. Friends, we need three copies of this awesome bug. We are gonna do it by selecting it all, and then we're gonna hit M for move. We wanna grab this back edge, tap copy, which is control, and we wanna set it out in front of the bug. Let's scroll out and move past it. Notice I'm zooming. I'm gonna do T for tape measure. I'm gonna go off the front of our bug, and I'm gonna type five again on the red axis. So I've got another point. Space bar to select what we just made. And we're going to do M for move. And once again, we want to tap a copy and set it out on that little point. The first piece here is going to be the one with the eyeball. So hit C for circle. Click somewhere up on the face. Make a tiny eye. Hit space and delete that hole. We are only going to put the eye on this one. Do not add it to the others. At this point, you can hit P for push pull. And we're going to raise this up 2.5 and press enter. We are going to raise this one up and type 2.5 as well. They have to be the exact same. That does matter a ton. When you've got that done, hit spacebar, right click, and make them a group. That is the outside of our bug. Let's switch to the pan tool and slide across. And now we're going to make the inside of our bug. We need to click L for line, and we need to make a line there and a line there. And then we need to do erase to get rid of these two lines. This is going to make a gap so that our bug doesn't touch. This is what allows it to bend. P for push pull. This one is going to be two millimeters thick. Type two and press enter. Type two and press enter. These have to be the same. Make sure you don't mess that up. Hit your space bar. Draw a box that grabs just those. Right click on it and make them a group as well. Friends, let's hit H for hand and pan across so we're looking at this shape. Hit T for tape measure. Start on this corner, follow the line, and type 5 and press enter. Click on this corner, follow this line, also type 5 and press enter. Hit L for line and connect those two dots. Friends, hit T for tape measure. And let's come down seven millimeters from that spot we just had. Hit your L for line and connect your new little dot to the bottom. Hit E for erase and let's get rid of those little points that we just made. And also erase this one. Friends, your bug is ready for the final push pull. Click on this one and we're gonna make it four millimeters thick. Click on this one, we're gonna make it four millimeters thick as well. Hit your space bar, make sure you can see just those parts. Notice if I touch anything extra, that doesn't work. And then right click and group all those pieces. Friends, those are all the pieces for our bug. Let me show you the assembly. 
I'm gonna hit H for pan so I can see better, O for orbit so I've got the right angle, and then we're gonna stack these. Spacebar, click on this shape. Notice it is a group. If you miss that step, make sure you get them all selected. Have them all in the box. You can right click and make a group. Then do M for move and grab the bottom of the group. And we need to set it on top of the other one. Notice how those points line up easy peasy. I'm going to come over here, hit my space bar, click on my part that was a group. Remember, if you forgot that step, select it now, right click and group it. I'm going to hit M for move, grab that corner, and friends, it stacks the same way. Now we need to put the skinny layer on top of this layer. So it's going to go outside, middle, inside. So we're going to do the middle again. Remember, tap control to set a copy on top. So it's skinny, wide, skinny. And then finally, we need to finish with the last layer of our bug. Tap control to make a copy and drop it in place. Friends, O for orbit. That is our awesome bug that bites. Friends, if you're in my classroom, make sure you hit save and then make sure you also choose to export it. This is one we can 3D print. When you hit export, we are exporting as an STL. In my classroom, you always need to find quick access STL and give it a name. Remember ours had our initials. I'm gonna call mine Bug5MDH and then if you have a color you're dreaming of, you can type it. I cannot guarantee you'll get the color you want, but I will try my best. Friends, if you're having fun with this, don't forget you can also visit hlmodtech.com. I have a SketchUp page where there are a ton of cool activities. I have also got the messaging app. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, you can reach out to me there. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.